Testosterone is quite rife throughout the human species, particularly in men, but even some uh, female MMA fighters. Uh, Alana McLaughlin comes to mind. She recently uh, uh, defeated uh, another lady who I can't remember her name, which is unfortunate. Good research for me. Uh, But she defeated Old Love, and uh, it happens to be that she is a transgender woman. Um, the second transgender woman that I'm aware of that's fought uh, professionally in an MMA, uh, Fallon Fox being the other. What was your reaction to that fight, the defeat uh, from the the natural-born woman, if I can use that, uh, that uh, terminology? What was your reaction to that? And um, what, what do you feel about people who were born male fighting people who were born female? I think that it gives them a huge genetic advantage. It doesn't mean they're going to win, but I think that they're obviously born with a huge advantage over other people. It's like right now, if I say, Hey, I, I should, I feel woman. I want to try. I want to, I want to switch. I want to switch. I want to be female. I feel it inside two years from now. I start competing. There's no way that having abused steroids for 10 years, being born a man, having bigger bones is not going to help me win a fight. Doesn't mean I'll be a good fighter, but it's going to help me. So I don't think it's fair, but I can't blame them for doing it either. If they're going to let them compete, well, they're going to of take course. that advantage, you know, Why just not? like in the Olympics. Yeah. 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 If somebody says to me, Hey, you can go to the Olympics and compete. I'm like, well, I'm in, you're going to be fighting against women. It's like, it's not my decision. I'm just going by your rules. I don't think it's fair. I think they should have their own category. If you're asking me, I would want transgender female. There you go. You guys compete, you know, you female, whatever you compete together. It's fair, even playing field, but without it, I just don't think it's fair. No. And, and particularly seeing how she used to look when she was a man, like that was a dude, that was a big dude. And I'm not sure if she was a Marine or, or just a regular soldier, but she was a big dude, like scary dude. And, you know, when you see how someone used to be, you know that 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 image of that person still exists somewhere within within them. And to know that that's fighting against a lady who was quite small. Well, I mean, that you know, obviously the same weight range, but she wasn't this big, muscular uh, looking individual. And to see them come up against each other, I mean, obviously it's natural to see. Um, men in the world look at that and go, hey, come on, you know, you, you, you can't hit women, that's disgusting, yada, yada, yada. I think that's where a lot of the uh, the disdain for this comes from. And I think that's natural. I think that's understandable. When I made a video about it and I got, a, I got heat from the trans community um, basically suggesting that, you know, I'm a transphobic. And I get that a lot whenever I question anything to do with, with transgender-ism, uh, if you will. But... In reality, it's an opinion, and I don't need to be a person who's experienced, um, you know, the transition to have that opinion. I think it's 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 something that unfortunately a lot of people don't talk about the benefits of being a male for a long period of time. Whether it's you know the bone structure, the thickness of bones, the strength, um, the 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 strength of ligaments, but even too, and I I have no idea if this is scientific or not, but we. I spoke about before I mentioned that uh, dudes who have a lot of head knocks, which MMA fighters would have, uh, often find themselves lacking in uh, testosterone flowing through their system. I wonder if this lady having Alana having uh, testosterone throughout her system in her life has had, has had a neuroprotective uh, effect. I don't know if you know anything about that, but I, I'm just thinking about that right now. Maybe that has some sort of benefit for her over her opponents. Well, I have no idea, but I mean, I do know that she's going to have stronger bones and that's going to have right. more uh, protection of her brain than somebody who has smaller bones. So certainly going to be an advantage. And I'm just thinking of yourself, you're six foot eight and you are close to 300 pounds and you're still, you're a big guy. If you transition to female two years from now and try out for basketball team, I'm thinking you're probably not that bad. Even if you haven't played that much, you're already six foot eight. How many women are six foot eight? There's some, but a lot less. So having been able to grow even taller, because we know testosterone is going to help people grow. If you compare the average height for male to female, males are taller. So it's not just bigger muscles, it's also a height advantage. So I don't know, people don't often mention that, but huge, huge advantage. And I, I like the point you brought up about um, we might be talking about this. It doesn't mean we're against 
trans. I'm, I support 100% people having the right to be female. I just don't think it's fair that they compete against other women. Doesn't mean I don't think that they should be allowed to transition to being female.